Today we are going to sculpt Cersei and turn her blue. Let's go! What's up guys, it's ZW again and I'm sure you know Gemma Chan from the Eternals but did you know she was also from Captain Marvel? So today I'm going to scout both Minerva and Cersei. Not that Cersei, Asian Cersei. Let's go! Obviously this is not what Cersei wore in Eternals but because she's the Green Ranger, I mean she's the Green Eternal, I just found some great outfits for her. We got a top, a bottom and a bra. Wow, what a six scale bra. I'm sure it's more expensive than my clothes. After my recent obsession with Toy Stories, I think I'm going to stop buying clothes and bodies just for YouTube because I might transit into just making bust instead of full figurines. So let me know what you think about this change. The next outfit makes things so much easier. It's Captain Marvel's green suit. It is also 1-6 scale so all we need to do is to remove the boots, the belt and the suit and transfer it to a new body. But hey, the neck is already blue. Well, that's because we are getting ahead of ourselves. Let's first sculpt the head. Gemma definitely has a unique face and some of her features look unnatural to me. It's like how you can tell when a CG character is weird when their mouth moves because we look at humans every day. Gemma's cheeks and chin look like something that people aim to achieve with Botox and fillers because they look really perky and tight. Of course, I'm still referring to the face. But she looked the same when she was younger so it's probably good genetics or really insightful planning. I don't know, don't quote me on that. The obvious difference between Minerva and Cersei would be her cyberpunk hairstyle and that was really fun to do because it was mindless and I was probably watching a show on the side. Adding paws was also a no-brainer and this is what it looks like. So I prepped it for printing with Minerva having her V thingy on her forehead and totally clean for Cersei. I talked about how I applied paws on the Snake Eyes video and how I prep for printing in my Red and Green Ranger video. Head over there if you're interested. I also found a 3D model that was ripped from the game, Future Fight, and it included a rifle. Divinart is a good place for you to find these ripped models. I usually get my weapons here. Just search it up and you can download them for your own use. It's not the most detailed model but I really don't care about it. Of course if her head scout fails, Nothing matters. Let's print. While the 3D printer is doing its magic, I want to prep the body and the outfit. I'm using a spare Hot Toys body and painting the neck blue, and I took some knockoff Black Widow's hands and painted it blue as well. The accessories that came with the Barbie looked really babish. No, I mean Barbie ish. So I went over there with some transparent black to give it a weathered look. And now she's insecure about her blue neck, so I took some black cloth and make a scarf for her. Oh, what? What's that? That's the sound of the 3D printing completing. No, it doesn't really make any sound. But they look pretty good. I don't know what happened in the printer, but Cersei got some better scars on her face. Uh, that's probably a sign for me to, to do some maintenance on the printer because there might be dirt interfering with the printing. Minerva looked fine though, but she's having a flu! Look at all the mucus flowing out of her nose. The prints are hollow so there are resin inside of them and I guess they are fighting to get out. So we gotta trap them in with clay. So after stuffing Minerva's booger bag in her nose, and helping her solve a hair loss problem, I went to perform plastic surgery on Cersei to help fill up those ugly holes. If only I could do the same for my face. <coughs> oh, more boogers, and it's time to paint. You know what, let's get the easiest thing done first. The rifle. I wanted to use this metallic green marker to fill up the whole gun, but it quickly dawned on me that it's going to look like shit with all those brush marks. No, uh, marker marks? So I stripped the paint and used this chrome instead. I want to know if I could cover the chrome with transparent green to make it like chrome green and I think it's not bad. Now to paint the other parts with black and we can move on. So you know Gemma is Asian right so her skin tone is a bit more orangey but the body I got for her is white. So in order to match that body skin tone this head is going to look whiter which might look weird, I don't know, we shall see. As usual, after the beige base coat, I gave her a little red on her ears. 
eyes, nose, forehead, and cheeks. Some red dots all over her face. Oh, okay, 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 too much, too much. Remove, remove. I kind of did the same for Minerva. After the blue base coat, she looks like this. I added the same red paint to the same spots as before, which worked well since it becomes purple. Red dots too, but this time I know when to stop. Here is where it is different. While I give the human some tents, the alien looks weird with brown on her. She just looks dirty. So instead, I gave her blue all over the place. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. It's just trial and error because who paints blue aliens all the time, right? If you want to see me paint a green alien, click the top right corner. Now we can fill in their eyes. Their eyebrows, some brown, some black, and we can do their makeup. On the side of her eye, deepen the eyebrows, give her some sick eyeliners on the top and the bottom, black lipsticks, and oh shit, I forgot about the hair. This shit is so delicate that it requires a really tiny brush to fill in the gaps. I also tried to dry brush some purple highlights cause I think there's a hint of purple on Minerva's hair. But yeah, black eyeliner for Cersei, lipstick, her two most, and we are ready for real hair. Like I've said before, I'm not a teacher. I just describe what I do. But if you want to see more on hair rooting, I've done it in Fat Thor, Valkyrie, Gamora, Wanda, and Agatha, and Loki, and star -Lord. You get a point. Just check out my channel, yeah? This is a really delicate procedure. First, we gotta mark out her hair parting by sawing the top of her skull like this. Then we steal some lamb fur from the farm, glue them on from the bottom to the top, working our way up from the sides as well. Then totally lose track of the camera cause you're too focused, and now use a toothpick to stuff all the loose hair into the parting. Switch to a metal tool cause the toothpick broke. Style her hair as you did when you were playing with Barbie as a kid. Oh, you don't? Just me? Anyway, tie her hair at the back and some finishing touches like glossing her eyes, her lips, and give her some reflection to make it more realistic. And we done. Honestly, I like Minerva better than Cersei. Overall, she looks badass even though the outfit looks really cheap. Her gun wasn't well done obviously because I didn't give a damn. Her hair doesn't affect her range of motion much which was something I was worried about. Cersei on the other hand looks really pale as I've predicted before. Her hair looks too fuzzy and her paint job is kinda meh. I don't know man, digitally it looked okay but when I print it out and paint it, it disappoints me sometimes. But yeah, if you like this, make sure to check out all my other customs, subscribe and goodbye.